Good morning, December the 23rd and we've arrived at our um, temporary home for Christmas. Got here late yesterday afternoon and I think it's about time I showed you some of the caravan. So I'm starting off with the VW in shot as well so you can just get some perspective in terms of the size of the van so the body it's of the van itself um, is about the same size as the camper van motorhome that we had so it's about six meters uh, but obviously what we haven't got with the caravan is the driving area dashboard engine at the front so we've actually got quite a bit more space and it's also uh, appreciably wider actually than the van so that it just made a huge difference inside we've just got so much more room it's like being inside the TARDIS compared to the camper van so um, we'll see that a bit later I'll probably do that on another video just to keep these two videos reasonably short um, but yeah the um, the VW is doing has done really well. It's, I mean, I did a bit of research before I bought this vehicle in terms of what its towing capabilities were, and most people around in Australia seem to use the Utes. So they'll use the Ford Ranger and the Toyota Hilux. Uh, if they go for a SUV, they'll go for the Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, not many people seem to use the VW, but they got really good write-ups in terms of towing capability and it's great it's um, you know there were some quite long inclines coming up here yesterday and it coped fine it um, kept the speed up uh, fuel consumption doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment and um, certainly it seems to be capable of handling the weight of the van and the van is about three tons when it's sort of loaded up with water um, so it's quite a quite a big mass um, and occasionally you can sort of feel it pushing the vehicle a little bit the VW a little bit but not not too much and certainly nothing to be worried about and it's um, so it's got an electronic braking system as well which um, which just helps to control it so yeah it's re it's actually really good for for um, driving so um, so yeah we'll start off on the I guess the functional side of the van so um, working from the back here we've got um, a heater for the water uh, so that runs off gas and electricity and the little hatch to get the toilet um, cassette out this is where we hook up our power so unlike the camper van uh, we've got the capability here to hook a hose pipe directly into the van from the um, tap from the campsite which is just over here and that's one thing about Australian campsites they all seem to have power and water for every site that wasn't the case in New Zealand so what we can do is we can hook this um, hose up and we've actually got effectively mains pressure then so that water is just going straight into the van it's not going anywhere near the water tanks we're not having to use the internal water pump um, of the van to get our water around put a I've actually put a water filter inline water filter onto the pipe so that will take out any germs and sediment um, that might be coming through the water tap and in particular takes the chlorine taste out and we've you'll see inside we've got another we've got another water filter inside so we're well serviced for water filters and then uh, batteries are stored outside in that battery box we've actually got got no idea whether you're going to be able to see this we've actually got pretty chunky suspension so this is classed as semi off-road um, which means it should be able to deal with unsealed roads and a small amount of corrugations um, it's not designed to be fully off-road but for the type of 
touring we're going to do I think it's going to be fine and it's certainly more robust than just a standard caravan and again underneath here <laughs> not sure what you're seeing here but all of the tanks and the wiring and electrics are all covered in um, sheeting to give them some protection so and as you can see it's quite high off the road as well to give it that ground clearance so it should be great for anywhere that we want to go um, and then we've got some storage hatches which mean we've got heaps of spaces to put our things so in terms of the storage they call this the boot ordinarily it would run through from one end to the other but you'll see why it doesn't when I get around the other side of the van um, but that extends quite a way back so we've got quite a bit of stuff in there there's a sort of jack at the back which hope we, hopefully we never need to use if we get a puncture uh, there's some matting at the back there for um, out underneath the awning where we sit um, I've got because we're away for a couple of weeks I've got um, quite a bit of wine in that box there got my beer yoga mats and some various bits and bobs for my bike so yeah that's great just to get things out of the way in terms of storage then in here this is where I keep the generator that we've bought so when we go um, free camping and we haven't got access to power we can run this generator and it's got plugs here which then go into the side of the van over there and effectively that's like being on mains power so this uh, petrol generator will push out enough power to run all the appliances including the microwave and the air conditioning so at some point maybe a little bit later today I'm gonna try that out for the first time and just see how noisy it is I tried to get a quiet one but I think there's a limit to how quiet you can have them got our gas bottles here um, cycle rack what's good about this is if I pull this pin out and just loosen these two um, that whole unit there slides off and I've got an adapter which then will fit into the back of the tow bar and I can then use it as a bike rack for the car as well which is great so and then this is the hitch and this again is designed for off-road use so it's um, it's not got the traditional ball it's actually got a pen that comes through from the car tow bar and this is able to articulate all the way around like this and then forwards and backwards so when you're going over rough and uneven surfaces it adapts to that and reduces the pressure on the tow ball so that's really good pretty pretty hefty safety chains there for this three ton vehicle and this is uh, a safety breakaway unit so you hook this to the to the car when you're towing and if for some reason it detaches that'll pull this pin out and that activates the brakes in the caravan to stop it let's hope that never gets used and this has got um, electronic stability control as well for the van so the van sort of gets a sense when it starts to sway and it alternates between the right and left hand side brakes to control that so all the electronic gizmos and goodies um, on this which is great come around here the other side to the storage box again it's got a pull out which is really useful so in here we've just got um, cleaning equipment and sort of stuff that you don't want sitting out in the van you don't access very often um, plus the wok which really doesn't fit anywhere inside the storage inside the van and then here I might have to use my other hand slide out barbecue which can also be used 
as a two ring burner so that works really well as you can see not being used that much I think tonight might be the first time it gets used right down here so that's good I've got its own light up here for when you're doing the barbecuing external speakers and this is a drop down picnic table they call it but what's good is we can put um, an induction hot plate onto here plug it into the mains power here and we can do some cooking outside which was great so last night fish didn't want to smell the inside of the van just cooked it out here really good and here we can actually hook the TV up um, and actually watch the TV outside if we want so um, we'll see how long it takes before we can do that nice security door which means that you can have effectively the door open so you're getting the breeze through um, but it's also secure because this is metal and it stops the insects from getting in as well which is good and then if you want that just closes up and becomes one door so that's quite neat and then around the back of the van um, there's in here an outdoor hot and cold shower so um, that'll be good for times when we might come back um, I don't know from the beach or something like that don't want to take all the sand um, inside the van and into the shower in the van so you just can have a quick shower off out here and the rear view camera is good because it's got a little microphone in it so I'm sitting in the front of the vehicle some distance away down there and um, if Vassie's sort of directing me into a parking area or something she can actually just talk um, and the microphone picks it up and plays it through the monitor in the VW so that's really good and the only thing you haven't seen really is the awning out so we'll probably do that a little bit later uh, but I'll sign off at this point and the next video will be from inside the van